back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit special. We are going to be doing a reading vlog. But I just wanted to hop in here before we get on uh, with that reading goodness uh, because I just wanted to explain uh, how I got the book and also what book we're going to be reading. So um, the book that we're going to be reading is Fiora and if you watched my previous video I talked about it a little bit but it's essentially a story about a girl um, she wants to be a footballista and um, just because of everything what's going on with like in Argentina as well as her family dynamics she has to hide her dreams um, and that's essentially like the story I don't know too much about it because I haven't started reading it yet but um, I'm really excited to start reading this book and I just wanted to explain how I got the book um, I got this book free from uh, colored pages book tours on Instagram and in partnership with the publishing house and so um, I got this book in exchange for an honest review so I'll be giving my real thoughts it's not skewed in any way I just got the book for free and um, yeah so we'll check in and talk about all of our thoughts afterwards so enjoy the video bye guys hey y'all so um, I just wanted to check in um, I just started Fiora not too long ago and I'm like on the fifth chapter um, and I have to say, I'm really loving it so far. They had a scene um, just now that um, was Camila actually like playing soccer. And I was a little interested to see how it was going to play out, you know, because I feel like soccer itself, like the sport is super dynamic and there's a lot going on. And I was interested to see how the author would handle those like soccer scenes. And I thought that she did a really good job of making there be like excitement in the game having it be fun um but also easy to follow where it didn't feel like we were just like the ball going from person to person to person to person like it kind of had a a really good direction with it so um thus far i'm really enjoying it so i can't wait to keep reading <laughs> So I actually woke up, mm, I don't know, maybe about an hour or so ago um, because I have to work. <laughs> um, but I did get some reading done last night as well as this morning. And I have to say, I'm like loving this book so far. I know I already said that, but um, one of the things that's really sticking out to me is um, how her and Diego, you know, like they have like some chemistry, like some love, you know, but the one thing that I really like about this book in particular that kind of stood out to me was that they gave Camila and Diego a backstory. So I feel like sometimes in a lot of YAs, it's like, Hey, I just met this boy and like, boom, instant connection, love, whatever. And it doesn't quite make sense as to like how they're together. But what I like about this one um, is that she's really setting up the scene, like about why they have a crush on each other, why they kind of like each other, um, you know, flashbacks to moment in their in their childhood. Um, and that for me kind of feels a lot more genuine. It makes it feel like Camila and Diego have a real relationship and isn't just like thrown together because of the story. It felt it feels more genuine and more like a real love and like a real care for each other um which also when they're kind of talking about you know Camila how she might feel about everything going on with Diego um it just makes it feel more genuine as to why she might feel the way that she feels like feeling slighted feeling upset feeling sad um all of those things like it makes more sense and it feels more real so I really appreciate that um because I feel like a lot of ways don't do that so I'm loving that so far and I can't wait to see where it goes I say I don't like love stories, but honestly, I'm a sucker. It's true. I might as well just admit it. You heard it first. Hey, y'all. So uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts uh, now that I finished the book and all of that. And so now that we finished the book, I did just want to kind of recap what Fiora is about without any spoilers. So Fiora is... Um, 
uh, Camila's alter ego. She is a footballista on the side, on the low, and she has to hide it from her family. Um, she lives in Rosario, Argentina, in the Barrios, and she um, joins the soccer team, and she's on the soccer team with her best friend and some of her other girlfriends, um, and she loves soccer and she loves playing football. But her parents and her family are not approving of her being a footballista. Her parents are um, maybe more traditional in the sense of like her dad um, is very machismo and you know dictates and is quite actually abusive in this story. Um, it dictates what the family thinks and can do um, and everyone else just has to kind of revolve around him. And for her it's you know her dream of wanting to be a footballista um, while also having to hide all these things that's going on in her life um, and also hiding it from her family because it's something that she really wants. And her like ex boyfriend or like this guy that she really liked like he is a football player um over in italy and he comes back and he comes back in the picture and they kind of restart their romance again all while camilla is trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life how she can follow her dreams and also um, everything fall into place at once one of the things that i loved so much about this book was that it's more than just soccer. So I knew it was going to be a coming of age story, a soccer story, you know, a little bit of drama with um, like her family because they don't allow her to be a soccer player. Um, and so I kind of knew that going into it. But one of the things that I loved about it is that it's so much more than just soccer and family dynamics. It really gets into the it talks about the feminist movement in Argentina, um, how girls were going missing and um, you know, the victim blaming that goes on with that uh, within Argentinian culture um, is some of the things that she talks about as well as machismo and uh, the very different gender roles for girls and boys. So I really enjoyed that aspect. I like that she brought um, that movement of what was going on in Argentinian culture and brought it into the forefront of the story. I felt like it weaves a really good narrative as to why Camila isn't allowed to play football um, versus just like her parents being like, no, you know, so I really enjoyed that. Um, another thing that I really enjoyed about this book in particular was the love story between like her and Diego felt very real and just felt really nice and really genuine and girl, I love me some Diego. <laughs> One of the themes of the stories, or like of the story that I thought was really relatable, especially I know that this is like a YA book, is this, this like balancing act of like how do you as a woman have your own career and your own goals and all of that, but then also have a relationship with a, with a guy and not compromise all of your goals and all of your dreams for this man. Um, and that is something that Camila struggles with throughout the entire book. And for me, I totally get it. I, it seemed like I understand why Camila would feel that way, especially because of her, the society that she was brought up in and also like her parents' dynamics. But I just want to also add that like, that is very true. That's a very, you know, big struggle that some women face. But also, you know, for me, one of the things that I kept thinking is that, um, you know, being in a relationship doesn't have to be limiting to your prospects. You know, it all depends on the type of relationship that you're in. If you're in a healthy relationship and a supporting relationship, you can achieve your goals simultaneously with each other. And like, yeah, you might have to make certain sacrifices, but not just you, like your other partner as well. You'll both have to make sacrifices for each other and each other's like family. But it's just a counter idea to what you know the story portrays and I understand why it goes in that direction because of everything you know like I said like Camila's upbringing um, you know not necessarily believing that men aren't going to limit her especially through her dad and just like culturally so I get why that was brought up but I also think it's a good point to bring up that like if you are in a healthy relationship 
that you know your it doesn't have to be like that it isn't just that way you can be in a relationship that's really supportive and amazing and great and you can follow your dreams and have love at the same time it's not following your dreams or love like there there is a way to have, to do both but it requires a certain kind of partnership um, so that's just a counter idea that I kind of was thinking about while I was reading this book but it is so much more than just soccer and I really enjoyed it and I thought that it was just really well done the story kept me engaged the whole time at certain points I was just like girl Camila what are we doing sis you know but I just I really loved it I thought it was so fun and it was such a good story and it kept me engaged the entire time so for me it is like a four star um type book i loved it and i would read honestly anything that the author puts out again um or if she can it continues the story with camila i would love to see and check up with camila in the future and kind of see where she's at and what's going on in her life i would really love that because i just love i really came to love camila and i want all her dreams to come true so i really liked it I'm, you know, very interested to see what, what else the author puts out in the future because if it's anything like Fiora, I will definitely be picking it up. So thanks guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!